Good morning, Hedra. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing great. How thank are you? you. I'm good. Thank you so much for being with us. <laughs> yeah. Talk to us a bit about hand washing and its importance to as far as our health is concerned. Yeah. Um, hand washing with soap has been with us since ages because it's a very important hygiene practice and it's a daily activity. The focus today, I want to focus on the hands. Okay. I always ask this, that we should every day think about the things that we do with our hands, things that we touch with our hands, and also imagine how many people might have touched those things already before us touching. If you do that, you will be amazed as to how your hands get contaminated during your daily activities. The moment you wake up, you start using your hands. And by doing that, our hands come into contact with viruses, bacteria, and other parasites. And it is such that you cannot see the gems on your hands. So you may think that your hands are clean, but every day, all the time, we are contaminating our hands. Hmm. And I also want us to take note that when the hands are contaminated, we also, apart from contaminating ourselves, the hands also serves as a principal carrier of transmission of diseases. Hmm. Because whatever you have on your hands, when you touch things, other people come to touch it. Um, there is a saying that the hands operate as an effective, mark the words, the choice of words that I'm using. The hands operate as an effective transport network mm. for transmission of diseases. You can imagine if you say you have an effective transport, like here, <laughs> there, everywhere, everywhere. <laughs> all the time. So this is how the hands transmit diseases. But by adopting the hand washing with soap practice, mm -hmm. what you do is you interrupt the transmission of diseases. You block the transmission. So that is why we have to wash our hands. Now you mentioned soap. Yes. How important is soap in this entire conversation? Because some people only wash their hands when it's visibly dirty. We are not in an environment that uh, we are not conscious of microorganisms. Yeah. So some people will just sweep when they see that the floor is dirty, yeah. for instance. There are people who have said things like, I don't like smelling yeah. soap before I yeah. eat. So I would only use the soap after I eat. Yeah. How do we get into the habit of washing our hands with soap? Um, soap. The importance of using soap, I want to liken it to having grease or oil on your hands. You see that if you use only water without soap, at the end of the day, it will still be there. Mm -hmm. So if you have the germs, the pathogens on your hands, it's the same. If you don't use soap and you use only water, you will not be able to take away the germs. And what happens when you use soap? What happens is that it it's dislodges anything on your hands. And you see the practice of washing the hands properly too, you have to also rub your palms. So if you have soap, mm -hmm. it also facilitates the rubbing and then the friction. Mm. But at the end of the day, you know, if you have, it also lets your hands smell good, you know. <laughs> so nobody wants dirty hands. So is it wrong to do this? Because some no. of us just do this when we are washing our hands because we do, think it's my right hand that I use no. the most. So. In fact, if you do that, you are not getting anything out of your hands. Okay. Yes. 
I will demonstrate the proper way of washing hands. Okay. When we started the mass media campaign, mm -hmm. I think this is one observation that I had. You know, the statement out there or the communication was, wash your hands with soap on the running water. The emphasis on the proper hand washing with soap was missing. Ah. Yes. It was missing. So I want to use this platform mm -hmm. to say that we just don't have to wash our hands with soap on the running water. If you don't wash your hands with soap properly, you are not removing the virus on your hands. Mm. So the emphasis is washing your hands with soap on the running water properly. <laughs> Okay, that it, is it. And you'll be walking us through it shortly. Yeah, I will do that. Now make the link between hand washing and our health first. Okay, as I've mentioned earlier on, you know, as you go about your daily activities, you use your hands in doing, I want to come home to Ghana. Today, everybody watching me should start observing people as to what they use their hands to do. I've seen a lot of people several times using their hands in their ears like this, in the nose, scratching their skin, in the hair. I mean, whilst you are doing this, in fact, some people even feel that coughing in your hands is courteous. Mm -hmm. So when they are about to cough, you see they do this. Yeah. When they are sleeping, they do this. Some men just uh, what use are the you doing? You are contaminating your hands. So the hands get contaminated with microbes. And I mean coronavirus is still here with us. So I think thanks to coronavirus, everybody in Ghana has come to know that our hands can be contaminated with viruses and we have different viruses and you see when you also go to the washroom for instance you know what happens there after yeah. yeah everything you use your hands and your hands can also get contaminated with feces and small a gram of feces contains 10 million viruses i'm telling you and about a million bacteria so something small on your hands can really get you seriously sick. In fact, proper hand washing with soap can cut diarrhea diseases by about half wow. everywhere. And resp respiratory diseases by a quarter, like 25%. And we have what we call the gastrointestinal diseases. You see, uh, like children, for instance, they play around in the sun, you know, and everything. They get worms. True, if they don't wash their hands properly with soap, they can get worms. If children get diarrhea, this is what happens. And even adults, what happens is that you will not be able to, you know, whilst you are eating, you are running. Yeah. Yeah. So you will not be able to keep nutrients even in food, you know, for you to get well. And when it comes to children, it's worse. Caregivers go to our healthcare facilities. People go there with various diseases. So you can imagine the daughters and the nurses who are taking care of them. If they are not washing their hands with soap, they are transferring disease from one patient okay. to the other. So it has so many uh, health benefits. In fact, washing hands with soap actually improves on our general well-being. Yeah. Yeah. Now let's talk about the running water bit yeah. because within our context, we don't always have access to running water. What do we do? Okay. Uh, it is very important actually to wash your hands on the running water because what you are trying to do is to rinse away. Mm. You see, you want to rinse away any germ, any virus, any bacteria on your hands. So if you don't have running water, I would liken it to uh, washing clothes. So when you wash your clothes in water, you see that the water 
has become dirty. Yeah. You will not want to put in new clothes, even dirty clothes inside dirty water. You get it. So what happens is that if you don't have running water and you are using this bowl, for instance, you wash all the gems inside and then you pick it back. That is what it means. But if you don't have the running water, what you can do is that you can also have two bowls. So you wash in one bowl mm -hmm. and you try and pour water to rinse it. So you or get the bacteria after year, and the virus. Yes, okay. that is it. Okay. So there are so many. I'm, I've said that, look, don't make excuses for not washing your hands. Always think about the benefits that you are going to gain. And therefore, you should make hand washing with soap a habit. Mm -hmm. In fact, it should be your daily habits, your priority that every day, everywhere, regularly, you wash your hands with soap. And we're here, we're, we're happy you're here with us. So you're going to show us how to wash our hands properly. But before that, let's take a video on hand washing. Whenever you use the toilet and do not wash your hands with soap, your hands pick up things you can't see. Washing your hands with just water can't make them truly clean. Remember to wash your hands with soap. You never know what you're feeding to your family. For truly clean hands, always wash with soap. Whenever you use the toilet and do not wash your hands with soap, your hands pick up things you can't see. Washing your hands with just water can't make them truly clean. Remember to wash your hands with soap. You never know what you're feeding to your family. For truly clean hands, always wash with soap. Whenever you use the toilet and do not wash your hands with soap, your hands pick up things you can't see. Washing your hands with just water can't make them truly clean. Remember to wash your hands with soap. You never know what you're feeding to your family. For truly clean hands, always wash with soap. Okay, so that was a video showing us a practical way of washing our hands with soap under running water. Now we're going to show exactly how to do it in your homes. Please go ahead. Kira. Yeah. If you want to wash your hands properly, mm -hmm. the first thing you do is to get your water and then you get soap. Okay. Before you start, you have to wet your hands with water first and why you wet your hands with water first is that it will help you to get enough soap on your hands because if you have dry hands you will not be able to get enough soap mm. so the water helps you to get enough soap 
on your hands. Okay. Yes. So that is why you have to wet your hands first. So that you get... Yeah, before you apply the soap. Okay. And please, we say wash your hands with soap. So it means that you have to get enough soap on your hands. <laughs> Some people will just do this. And they are done. Yeah, and so they don't are be, done. So don't be stingy with the soap. No, 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 no. Okay. Be very economical, Gener <laughs> generous with the soap. Okay. And for you to be able to know that you have enough soap, you know, the soap should ladder, as you can see. Ah. Until you've seen ladder on your hands, it means you don't have enough soap. Wow. Yes. Okay. So, now you can see I have soap on my hands. What you do is to rub your palms together, mm -hmm. as I'm doing. And why do you do this? There is friction, as I explained earlier on. The soap is aiding the friction and then the rubbing so that it breaks down. It will dislodge any germs, any virus in your hands wow. whilst you are doing this. Mm -hmm. And then you have to wash in between okay. your finger, mm -hmm. fingers, as I'm doing. You see, your thumb... Why is that important? Yes, because germs hide in between the fingers okay yes you see if you do this and you do this what about here mm -hmm. so you have to pay attention okay also in between your fingers and you rub here what's the minimum time we should spend at rubbing? least 20 seconds at least that 20 is the seconds. least okay that is the least and then you have to at the back of your hands as i'm doing it's mm -hmm. also important the hands is this here here this is the hand so every part of your hands you will have to make sure so at the back and then your nails mm -hmm. gems also hide in the nails so okay. you have to make sure you have taken and after doing this you rinse off okay so you now see? everything is coming yeah. off you see the running water what the running water is doing mm -hmm. it is taking away all the, all germs, the germs all the viruses all, yeah. all the bacteria so you rinse off okay. as i'm doing it on the running water okay and but if you are not using running water what is going to happen is what you see here ah and then you it, get it the germs means that back. you are washing yeah you know so so keep washing oh i then. bet you <laughs> i feel good anytime i wash my hands i feel so good wow. you see now you get clean tissue or clean hand towel mm -hmm. some people will wash their hands well but they use a dirty towel yeah when when you get to our local chobas <laughs> and you see that hand towel the place don't don't touch it okay what some people do is that you know usually our foods are spicy yeah so they will be sweating and so that hand towel over there when they get oh. there they just pull it and then they wipe while their they sweat face. some even oh yeah so please, any public hand towel, don't, don't use it. Okay. Use your own personal towel, okay. handkerchief. If you don't have, and you also leave your hand Just like air dry this, it. Yeah. Okay. It, it will get... Like, Thank yeah. you so much for doing this, uh, for helping us really learn how to wash our hands. But for those at home who might want more information, where do we find you? I work with the Community Water and Sanitation Agency. Mm -hmm. We are in charge of uh, provision of water and sanitation in rural areas. areas. Mm -hmm. But I collaborate with a lot of partners. We have UNICEF, Water and Sanitation for Urban Poor. We have Water Aid. We have Global Community, USID, the World Bank. Mm. It's Yes, the World Bank is okay. also our major Do, do you have a partner. social media handle? Uh, I'm sure when so we Google you, we will yeah, find you, out. You, okay. you will find out. <laughs> Thank I, you I so much. I want to end by saying that Today, 15th October, is Global Hand Washing Day. It's a global advocacy day to create awareness on the importance of hand washing with soap. The COVID has actually... It is so sad that we have to go through pains to accept that hand washing with soap mm -hmm. 
it's very important in our lives. And I'm sure so, I would want you to come back later and then we talk about we'll the that. COVID properly yeah. okay. and lessons we, we can learn. So Thank you so much, Mrs. Our Theodora. Daily activities, <laughs> and we should make and our washing with soap our top priority. <laughs> Thank you very much, yeah. Mrs. Theodora Adomakoeji, for you. being with us. Hi there. We hope you enjoyed the show. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment, and share with your friends. This is Breakfast Daily on City TV. Join the Breakfast Daily team Monday through Fridays from 7.30 a.m. to 10. Join us for breakfast daily, only on City TV.